Hey there, Mr. Weaver here, and this is 8th grade, module 7, lesson 5, Distance on the Coordinate Plane. After this lesson, you need to be able to find the distance between two points on a coordinate plane using the Pythagorean Theorem. Let's learn. Find the distance on the coordinate plane. Here we see some steps to find the distance between two points on a coordinate grid. So first, we're going to use the two points and draw a right triangle. The segment between the two points becomes the hypotenuse. So here we can see in our picture we had two points, 3, 1, and 7, negative 2. First we connected them to make our hypotenuse, and then we made a right triangle out of it. This process, making a triangle and connecting, is similar to when we were trying to find slope. Next, we're going to determine the legs by counting the units. This leg right here, if I count 1, 2, 3, it was three units tall. If I count the other leg, it was one, two, three, four units wide. Now that I know the lengths of the legs, I can use the Pythagorean theorem and replace those for A and B. When you're finding the distance on a coordinate plane, you're pretty much always going to be needing to find the hypotenuse, so you're really just going to need to count the legs and add. So three squared is nine, four squared is 16, Add them together, we get 25. So 25 was c squared, which means if we take the square root of that, c is 5. These points are 5 units apart, if we were to be able to go directly from one to the other. Example 1. Find the distance on the coordinate plane. Find the distance c between 3, 0, and 7, negative 5 on the coordinate plane. Round to the nearest tenth. So first, let's graph our points on our coordinate plane. So 3, 0 would be there. 7, negative 5 would be down there. Once I have my points plotted, I'm going to connect them, and that is going to form my hypotenuse. From there, I'm going to make a right triangle. So there's one leg, there is the other leg. Once I count the legs, I find this bottom one is 1, 2, 3, 4 units long, and this one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units tall. So now I made a triangle with legs of 4 and 5. Using the Pythagorean theorem, I can now find my hypotenuse. So 4 squared plus 5 squared is going to be equal to c squared. 4 squared is 16. 5 squared is 25. Add them together, we get 41. So c squared is 41. If I take the square root of that, c is about 6.4. So c was 6.4. And I rounded to the nearest tenth. So again, all I did was create a triangle, count how long my legs are, and then use the Pythagorean theorem to find the hypotenuse, which is the distance between those two points. So after all that, the points were 6.4 units apart. Check your understanding. Find the distance c between negative 3, negative 4, and 1, 2 on the coordinate plane. Round to the nearest tenth. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. You should have said they were 7.2 units apart. Let's look at how to get that. So negative 3, negative 4 is down here. 1, 2 is up here. If I connect them, there's my hypotenuse and my two legs. I could have went my legs over here. It doesn't matter. I made a triangle out of it. This is 1, 2, 3, 4 units wide and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units tall. Pythagorean theorem, 4 squared plus 6 squared is equal to c squared. 4 squared is 16. 6 squared is 36. Add those two together and I, I get 52. So square root of 52, what does that come out to be? Let's use a calculator. It's not a perfect square. I get 7.2111, rounded to the nearest tenth, 7.2. And that's really all there is for finding distance on a coordinate plane. Plot your points, create a right triangle out of it, use the Pythagorean theorem. 